What we've got here is a hole that's been caused by water erosion. What's happened over hundreds if not thousands of years, small stones and maybe harder stones got into the a small eddy in the, in the water and continued to rotate and they've rotated and slowly but surely forced and cut their way through the, the less resistant rocks here. If you have a look, see how small it is. This is how deep it is. If you didn't know that was there, you'd have a bit of a problem. Also, it's another precursor to tell you about the water levels that used to be here. For this to happen, it must have been happening on a continuing basis for a long period of time. If you look now, the water level is below us. So at one point, the water level here was much higher. So through abrasion, through water erosion, it's cut its way through the rock and the water levels have dropped. Potholes like this form in rivers. But river erosion rarely works alone. As any good gorge walker knows, most of the time it combines with weathering and mass movement to create a dynamic landscape. 